Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Taurus's monthly spy spread for December. Private eye spy where we look into your person's intentions. Everyone has a different name for this spread. However, the information we are going to uncover is still going to be the same. We are going to look into your person's intentions, how they're feeling about this, how they're feeling about you, what will their actions be moving forward, and advice and guidance. So if that's something you're interested in, Taurus, you're more than welcome in joining us. Let's get two more romance angels for each of you and your person. We have new love and worth waiting for. Chemistry. Soulmates and keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type expectation on your side taurus we have new love and chemistry a new person has stirred your romantic feelings there's a strong magnetic attraction between you and this person and on your person's side we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and yes this is your soulmate definitely a deep attraction okay a deep connection here I'm getting a sense Taurus that um, this is somebody who has probably just recently come into your life but you guys just click okay there's just the, a strong attraction there's just this you know you feel like you've known each other for a while not knowing how I feel here that there is a lot of chemistry. There is an attraction here, but I also feel that there's something that's blocking this. So let's try to see what that is. I feel like there is some resistance here to this new love. So let's take a look Taurus and see what comes out for you for the month of December 2020. past is holding you back now this could be you or this could be your person but there's somebody from the past here that is causing this resistance I feel like there is a very indecisive energy um, now this could be you this could be your person it's coming out as you Taurus um, but it could be either way the roles can be reversed so take it how it resonates but I feel here that there is a little bit of a resistance a uh, wanting to move forward but also being pulled back okay underlying energy is the six of wands so you are headed in a positive direction it's just very slow on your side of the spread taurus we have page of pentacles two of pentacles so there's definitely an energy of focusing on money focusing on stability and trying to gain clarity on the direction that you're wanting to head. Okay, the page of pentacles is also a studious energy. So this could be a student. Okay, this also represents a newer type of a connection. Which, as you can see, we already have established here, Taurus. Now, on your person side, we have the ace of wands. Again, a brand new opportunity a brand new connection but there's this waiting okay this the hanged man is a card of waiting it's also a card of changing perspective but it's all about self-imposed waiting okay i honestly feel like this person is kind of waiting for you to decide what exactly it is what direction you're going to choose now again take it how it resonates the roles can be reversed 
the past is definitely looking back on the past or maybe there is a past person that's still coming back in and causing disruptions um, but it's definitely uh, hindering positive movement forward in this connection Try to take care of yourself, Taurus, um, and have an understanding that this is a new connection, okay? So you can't really show up in this connection like even though there is a deep mutual attraction here, you can't come into this connection as such. You have to start out as that new beginning, that honeymoon phase, you know? so. Take your time, move slow, make sure that everything is balanced, and having a discussion doesn't hurt. We're going to get some clarifying cards out here, though. Let's clarify Taurus's energy here. Page of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Trying to find that balance is going to be important for this month. Okay, I also feel there is a need to leave something in the past. Whether this is you or this is your person, which again, it's coming out as you, Taurus. You're holding on to this past situation. You're going to have to make a decision. I feel here it's in the month of December, but probably very soon you're going to have to make a decision whether you want to move forward or leave the past behind because if you don't your person could decide to move forward okay they're only going to wait so long they're only going to wait so long Taurus I also can see from the bottom of the deck that there is this energy of becoming starting to become guarded maybe even a little bit jaded to this connection let's pull a different deck out here and get into these questions for Taurus I want to see what this person's true intentions are and how they're feeling about this situation for Taurus please and thank you for the month of December what is this person Taurus this person's true intentions for the month of December moving forward into 2021, please and thank you, Spirit. Taurus's person's intentions. Please and thank you. this person is very self-centered okay they're very focused on what exactly it is that they can get out of this situation at this point in time I don't feel like this person is um, very open emotionally the king of the queen of cups is in the reverse so this person may be very guarded emotionally Taurus um, I do see a, a very good opportunity for this to come together, but you guys are going to have to open up emotionally. That's what's going to have to happen in order for this to come together. Because that's a big piece in being able to move forward in a connection. You have to be able to open up emotionally to one another in order for that to come to fruition. Otherwise, there's always going to be this level of mistrust. I do feel this is something they're working on or willing to work on. Okay, but we do see the Queen of Cups is in the reverse. Coming out in what their intentions. How are they feeling about this situation here with Taurus? Please and thank you, Spirit. How is this person feeling about this situation? very stable 
I feel like this person sees you as a very stable, solid person. Okay, a very loyal person also. Somebody who's all about business. I do feel like this person does want to take things to the next level. Um, but I feel like the past is really holding you back. I also feel like this person is probably very goal orientated. Okay, very focused on money, very money driven. Okay, that's how you're going to know if the person, if this reading is resonating for your situation. This person is very focused on their goals at this time. Okay, what will the next steps be moving forward here for Taurus? Please and thank you. Next steps moving forward for Taurus. Please and thank you. So in this deck, the two of swords, the ladies blindfold is off. A lot of times in this card, the blindfold is on. So I do feel, Taurus, you're moving forward you're in this process of moving forward. However, there is still some confusion and a little bit of imbalance. Now, I understand everybody thinks focusing on yourself is selfish and there is a fine line between selfish and self care you're going to have to find that balance and don't beat yourself up when you put yourself first the justice card is coming kind of it is in the reverse it's coming out kind of flip-flop i'm turning it because i feel like you're in the process of clearing this confusion this is definitely a process that you're having to go through. This person is in that same boat, okay? They want to find clarity on this situation as well. But you guys are going to have to be honest with each other about looking back to the past. Whoever that is resonating for, that needs to be addressed, okay? And maybe it's a mirroring energy maybe both of you are still dealing with the past it's going this isn't going to be able to go to the next level if there's still this teeter-tottering this indecisive energy okay let's pull out a different deck here for you Taurus and we're going to see the advice guidance moving forward for December 2020 please and thank you most important message the advice guidance moving forward here for Taurus please and thank you spirit please and thank you I am going to do an extended version to the reading guys in the extended version we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into the energies i want to see if there's anything hidden if that'll come to the forefront we'll take a look at um what they want how they envision this turning out okay what is the outcome if the guidance is followed the next steps to get there We'll pull out a few different oracle cards at the end. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. The links are all below in the description box. Advice guidance for Taurus. Moving forward. Please and thank you. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Moon. Let's get one more card out here for Taurus. Page of Wands. Proceed with caution. Don't rush into things is what I mean by that. Okay. 
I do see potential of this coming together, but it's going to have to be very slow and steady, okay, in order for this to be able to feel comfortable for both of you. Because I do feel like there is a deep soulmate type of energy that's coming through here, okay? We have the Ace of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Moon, and the Page of Wands. So, the past may fight this disconnect. Having an understanding of that is going to be important, okay? This, the past doesn't want to let go. Whether this is you or the other person is definitely what I see coming forward here. You guys are going to need to be able to get onto the same page for this to be conquered, this past situation. If you guys aren't on the same page, then it's not going to work. So take your time. Don't be too hasty. Don't rush. Also, pay attention. Pay attention to what you're not being told, what's not being said here. Your intuition may be trying to speak to you. There could be messages that are coming through in your dreams. When the moon card comes out, that is definitely a message that can come forward with that card. So there's a need to pay attention here, Taurus, okay? Everything right now, okay? Your intuition is definitely on high. Finding that balance, getting back in tune with your intuition is going to be important at this time. Slow and steady wins this race. If you want this connection to work, you guys are going to have to be on the same page before you're going to be able to move forward. This can go one of two ways. There are several aces coming out, okay? Three of the four. Actually, all four are present, just ones in a different deck, okay? You're needing to understand that there's definitely potential for a new beginning. But getting on that same page is going to be important, and this person isn't going to wait around forever for you to get on the same page with them, okay? You may have to take initiative. So, Taurus... Get your native spirit oracle card out for your soul journey message if you found that this message has been helpful that it's resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth of the channel getting the message out there so thank you guys so much for that you are all amazing for taurus Shape shifter. Transformation. So this card, Taurus, talks about transformation. It talks about seeing things from a new perspective, okay? Letting go of attachment to your old identity and trying to see things from this new perspective, okay? Experiment in different ways that you're being able to view your reality. Be malleable, okay? Be open to experience. The soul journey message that comes with this card is to deepen your ability to shape shift. Simply imagine that you're an animal, bird, plant, or stone. Make it as real as you can. Doing this deepens your ability to shift your beliefs and limiting decisions that perhaps have held you back from fully fulfilling your highest destiny. There's definitely an intuitive message. There's definitely source trying to come through, trying to speak to you, you're needing to pay attention. It's not always easy for anybody, okay? You can be on your spiritual journey for 50 years and still have hiccups okay you can ask any guru any teacher they're always going to tell you there's new things to learn new experiences to be had you need to be open open up a little bit more to the experience this person may be just here to teach you a lesson maybe this is more of a friendship type of soulmate okay this person has been placed in your life for a specific reason. 
So paying attention is going to be important. Having a conversation with this person to get on the same page about where this relationship is at or going will be just as important in this journey for December. I am in the process of positive change. I'm unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express health, happiness, prosperity, and peace of mind. I'm in the process of positive change. Beautiful Taurus, beautiful. So Taurus, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you want to get in on the extended version, link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.